Hi, I'm Jason Blazard and welcome to the SUTV News Break for Friday, November 13th, 2009. Today on the webcast, look at these shots taken from outside our studio earlier today. We'll have more on the storm passing through town and the forecast for tomorrow's big football game. This and more straight ahead. Even before any rain or snow reached Cedar City, last night's storm may have contributed to a fatal car crash on I-15. The Highway Patrol is investigating the accident, which occurred just south of Cedar City. The 32-year-old female driver and a 9-year-old girl died in the crash. Three other passengers were taken to the hospital, some with serious injuries. While there is no word yet if the weather played a role in the crash, it certainly made the roads treacherous this morning. And you watch this video that we took Thursday morning. Then, just one day later, a completely different picture. The snow shouldn't stay around too long, and the current forecast shows at least partly sunny skies with highs in the 40s. Universities around the country are battling budget cuts and trying to do more with less, and SU is no exception. Amidst that tough economic climate, new SU Provost Brad Cook is trying to piece together an academic roadmap for the university. While not yet complete, the plan's success will probably hinge on at least in part on the state's investment in higher education. In an interview with SUTV, Cook said continued cuts might not only hurt students, but stifle the entire state's economic recovery. If you're a, a company uh, and you hit uh, hard economic times, the last thing you want to do really is cut off your revenue generating you know, your elements. Um, and so that's one of our appeals, right, to uh, the legislature, is to recognize that. For more from our interview with Cook and his campus forum, go to SUNews.com. We have an action-packed weekend of sports ahead of us, and you don't want to miss it. Tonight, we have the women's basketball season opener at 7 p.m., and later the men's basketball season opener in Honolulu, Hawaii, and you can tune in to Power 91 at 10 p.m. for a play-by-play. The football team will play their final home season, final game of the season on Saturday against Eastern Washington at 1 p.m. Make sure to bundle up if you want to come to the game because the weather calls for temperatures hovering in the mid-30s with a 50% chance of precipitation. And that will probably mean snow for the football team. For updates and results from all the weekend sports, and make sure to visit SUNews.com. We'll be back on Monday with our next news break. For SUTV News, I'm Jason Blazard.